Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and today I wanted to do a loadout video featuring the other starter ship, the Mustang Alpha. Now, much like with the Aurora video I did, I think it's important to set some realistic expectations because you're flying a ship that isn't durable against a bunch of dedicated fighters. So while you can certainly be competitive, you are also absolutely at a disadvantage. Now, the Mustang's an interesting ship because while it's fairly fast and it's very responsive to maneuvers, it's also very prone to overshooting, especially with the yaw. Now, I find that I often go to make small corrections in the ship and I'm way off target as far as where I'm trying to aim, which means that I end up missing a lot of shots flying the Mustang. Now, to add to that, the desync issues in 2.6 are very noticeable on a ship like this as well. But anyways, let's get the most out of this ship, and we're going to go with a monoboat loadout running four Series 9 longswords, uh, which are size 1 ballistic weapons. Now, while they don't have the same... Um, you know, like rate of fire or something like a repeater, they do fire pretty quick for a ballistics weapon, and that's an important benefit to helping you still land some shots while others are missing um, because of the steerability issues that you face on the ship. The long swords do penetrate shields, meaning that you can earn points on almost every shot, and you can deal damage to the enemy's ship and start to dismantle them even when their shields are up. Now, while each shot doesn't pack the punch of something like a Strife Mass Driver, the rate of fire means that the overall DPS is actually very high with this kit. Um, as far as the loadout is concerned, that's really it. It's a very simple ship with four size one hard points. There's no missile pylons, so the options are very limited. Now, playing this can be done in a few different ways. The range on the longswords is actually pretty good, so you can engage from a fair distance, but judge your aim and your target. You know, someone running mantises, for example, is going to be shorter range and is going to try and close that distance. So don't let them get in and keep you lined up for longer. You're just going to end up melting. Your best bet is to try and get on someone's tail and keep a sustained barrage of hitting them while you're kind of circling and following them. The Mustang is agile and fast enough to stay out of the firing arc of Hornets and Sabres, depending on their pilot, so you could end up getting into circle strafes and doing your damage there and doing it pretty well. If they do end up getting a line on you, break that strafe, don't stick around very long, boost forward and re-engage from a different vector. The key to flying this ship is the same as many others. Land more shots than you take, but you need to be extra careful on the damage you receive because I'm pretty sure the armor is actually made of paper mache. Finally, it carries an average amount of boost fuel, and it does recharge relatively quickly, but keep an eye on it and grab the power-ups whenever you can in Arena Commander, because you're going to be hurting if you can't escape and use it in maneuvers if you end up running out, because you don't have the durability to sit there and take it. So hopefully that helps you guys out in the starter ships, uh, and the good news is, is that if you don't have the long swords, they're pretty cheap to rent in the rec store. So uh, if you have questions or other loadouts you like on the Mustang Alpha, please toss them in the comments. Otherwise, stay tuned for more. Have yourselves a great day, and take care.